In question 9, we're given f dashed of x is equal to the quantity 3 minus x squared, all squared, over x squared, where x can't be equal to 0. In part 8, we need to show that f dashed of x is equal to 9x to the minus 2, plus a, plus bx squared, where a and b are constants to be found. The question carries three marks. I'm going to start by expanding the numerator. So we can write f dashed of x will be equal to 9 minus 3x squared minus another 3x squared plus x to the power of 4 and that will all be over now x squared. Just tidying the numerator up we're going to have 9 minus 6x squared plus x to the fourth all over x squared. I'm now going to split the numerator and write this as 9 over x squared minus 6x squared over x squared plus x to the fourth over x squared. Using the rules of indices, we know that 1 over x squared is x to the minus 2, so we can write this as 9x to the minus 2. The x squareds are going to cancel, which will leave me minus 6. And using the rules of indices, x to the fourth divided by x squared will give us plus x squared. So we can see from here that a would be equal to minus 6 and b would be equal to 1. So three marks in total for part a. In part b, we need to find f double dashed of x for two marks. f double dashed of x is the second derivative. If we take f dashed of x and differentiate once again with respect to x, we will take 9x to the minus 2 minus 6 plus x squared. f double dashed of x multiplying down by the power and dropping the power by 1 will have minus 18x to the power of minus 3. Differentiating a constant will give us 0, and differentiating x squared will give us plus 2x. So two marks in total for finding the second derivative, f double dash of x. It says, given that the point minus 3, 10 lies on the curve with equation y equals f of x, in part c we're asked to find f of x. The question carries five marks. So what we can say then is that y will be equal to the integral of the gradient function. So I'm going to pick up the gradient function here. I'm not going to take f dashed of x here. I'm just going to work with what I've already found. So we can say that y will be equal to the integral of 9x to the minus 2 minus 6 plus x squared, and we're integrating with respect to x. This will allow us to find y in terms of x, and then we'll go ahead, plug the values in, and find c, the constant of integration. So what we're going to have then is y is equal to 9x to the power of minus 1 divided by minus 1. I'm raising by a power and dividing by the new power. Minus 6x to the power of 1 divided by 1, and then we're going to have plus x to the power of 3 divided by 3 plus a constant of integration. So if we just tidy this up now, we can write this as y is equal to minus, and we could write this as minus 9 over x. I'm just looking ahead to finding now the value that we want for c, minus 6x, and then we're going to have plus 1 third x cubed plus c. So let's consider now the point minus 3 comma 10. So all I'm going to do is sub that in. So we'll have 10, we'll have now minus 9 over minus 3, minus 6 lots of minus 3, plus 1 third of minus 3 to the power of 3, plus C. So let's go ahead and work out C from here. So we'll have 10 will be equal to 3 plus 18, and then we're going to have now minus 9, and we're going to have plus C. So we've got 10 is equal to, in total, we're going to have 12 plus C. So we can see from here that C is going to be equal to minus 2. If we just put that back now, we can write that y is equal to minus 9 over x minus 6x plus 1 third x cubed, and then we're going to have minus 2. As stated before, you can write that as minus 9x to the minus 1. 
So five marks in total for integrating the derivative, finding y in terms of x with the constant of integration, subbing in the values to find c, and finally writing the final equation.